Hi guys, I'm Erica. Welcome to Hack Your Health. In today's video, I'm going to do a meditation on anxiety and fear. Over time, a practice of meditation can generally help reduce your anxiety and your fear. The first thing that I'd like to mention is if you are in a dangerous situation where your fear is because of a real thing that's happening, such as the threat of violence or another form of danger or abuse, I would highly suggest changing your circumstances instead of using meditation. Meditation, of course, is a great tool for anyone, but this is more about the feeling. If you are in actual danger, definitely get help in whatever way that you can. And that is definitely beyond the scope of this video. So this is more to do with this sort of habitual feeling of fear and anxiety that many of us feel and deal with in our daily lives. So I think the first and most important piece to become aware of is oftentimes when we are feeling anxiety or fear or really many different kinds of emotions, especially negative emotions, we can become very much involved with that emotion, almost like that emotion is us and what we're feeling is our whole sense of reality in a sense. And part of the meditation practice is to instead acknowledge yourself as an observer and you are observing the anxiety and the fear. And so when you observe your fear and anxiety, sort of like it's separate from your consciousness in a sense, you can start to learn more about it. You can start to have more choice in how you respond to it because it's not gonna overtake you. And also you can start to get more comfortable with that fear and anxiety so you don't feel like you have to push it away or try to get rid of it. You can be more comfortable just kind of sitting and feeling it. And essentially it just gives you more choice and more personal autonomy in the situation. So that's the first distinction that needs to be made is between the anxiety, the feeling that you're experiencing and the experiencer. So the one who is observing that feeling. That's a very useful tool and approach when it comes to using meditation as a tool for fear and anxiety. Another approach that is very helpful is to work to bring yourself into the present moment. And meditation is very good for that as well. So, and I'm sorry that you can hear my furnace going on and off. I can't really do anything about that. It's not under my control, so I'm sorry that there's that background sound. So basically, you can ask yourself the question, am I safe right now? And if the answer is no, then, you know, then you need to change something. But if the answer is yes, yes, I am safe right now, then the feeling of fear and anxiety is not appropriate for the present moment and it's safe to let it go. So just bringing yourself into the present moment, asking yourself, am I safe right now, is also very helpful for sort of changing that habitual pattern and breaking the cycle of thoughts and feelings that leads to chronic fear and anxiety. So let's start setting up for our meditation. The first thing that you want to do is get yourself into a comfortable position that you are able to hold for an extended time. Even though you may start out with a very brief meditation, maybe five minutes or so at the beginning, as you grow your practice, you're going to want to sit for longer durations of time, very likely. So it's good to practice from a comfortable position right in the beginning. So I like to sit cross legs, cross legged and have one ankle in front of the other. And the reason I like to do that is basically it creates an even weight distri distribution into both of your thighs 
and more of the weight is going onto your legs. And if you're having trouble getting into a seated cross-legged position, I would highly recommend practicing yoga if you don't already because yoga is actually designed to open the hips and make it possible to sit in meditation for a long time. So triangle pose and the standing hip opening poses are especially good for this and that's just my recommendation is to practice yoga if you want to improve your seated meditation practice. And if you can't sit on the floor, sit on a chair. If you can't sit for a long time, lie down on your back. If you can sit, it's better to do so because if you lie down, it's harder to stay awake. So you can start by just noticing your hip bones touching the ground. Notice the weight of your legs. Noticing physical contact with the ground is very helpful as well for reducing anxiety and fear because it brings you into the present moment. So imagine your spine is lengthening upwards and the crown of your head is reaching upwards. You can tuck your chin slightly to lengthen the back of your neck and by slightly tucking your chin it's traditionally done to reduce the amount of thoughts that you're having it's worth a try you can start to bring your awareness to your breath and just spend a few moments observing your breath you can have your eyes either slightly open or closed and rest your tongue against the roof of your mouth your lips can be slightly apart and your face relaxed and continue to observe your breath. You can bring your attention to your hands. Maybe they're resting on your knees. Maybe they're resting on your lap and just notice them. And then bring your awareness back to your breath. Breathing through the nose, inhaling and exhaling both through the nose. You can do a scan of your body. Notice if there's any points of tension in your body and if so, inhale into those areas. Slow, deep breath and then exhale and imagine as you exhale all of the tension leaving the area. You may also notice certain sensations as you're sitting. A hair might touch your face. You might feel an itch somewhere or the urge to shift. And see if you can just observe those sensations and realize that Though you do have the option of shifting or moving or scratching, it's a choice that you can make. And you can also choose to observe that and realize that it's safe and it's okay for you to have that sensation. And you can choose to accept that sensation 
and allow it to be there without responding, without reacting and without moving. And by bringing your body into this stillness, you may notice that your mind is also becoming more still. And how good it feels to rest your body and your mind. During your practice, you might notice some anxiety or some fear. And if you do start to feel anxiety, start to notice how it changes your physiological experience as well. For example, you might notice that your heart starts to beat faster. And just observe your heart feeling beating faster. And all the time bring your awareness back to your breath. You might notice what feels like an adrenaline surge when you're feeling fear or anxiety. For example, you may feel a surge in your arms. Allow yourself to become aware of that feeling and to observe it, while all the while continuing with your deep, slow, mindful breathing. You may notice that you start to get distracted by thoughts and go down familiar patterns of thoughts that lead to your feeling of fear or anxiety. You might be telling yourself a story and that story might make you anxious and just realize that you can let go of that and bring yourself back to the present moment to end your breath. You can observe those thoughts and those feelings and simply become aware of them. And then bring yourself back to your breath. You might notice that sometimes the feeling of anxiety comes up and you don't know why you don't have a story, you just feel that way and that's okay. You can simply allow yourself to feel it, accept it and be with that feeling without having to tell any kind of story about it. And then bring your awareness back to your breath. You can sit and watch your breath and observe your feelings and observe your thoughts mindfully. 
with stillness in the body for as long as you like. And for now, you can either turn off the video if you'd like to meditate longer, or we can end the practice. What I like to do is bring my hands up to heart center and take a moment to have gratitude for myself, for practicing and gratitude for the good life that I have or the people I love or whatever else comes to mind at that moment. And then you can take a deep breath and imagine that all of the healing energy that you've generated through this practice is circulating throughout your body. And then you can take an exhalation through your mouth and imagine that all of the energy that you've generated, the healing energy that you don't need for yourself is going out as healing energy to those who need it. And if you want to, you can bow, um, which is basically a humble gesture and that can conclude the practice. You can basically develop whatever sort of ritual or um, routine that you like. And hopefully this was helpful to you. And definitely having self-compassion is very useful and having kind thoughts towards yourself and even kind thoughts towards your anxiety, if that makes any sense. You can even say, you know what, it's, I know it's hard to feel that way and, and uh, try to have those sort of compassionate thoughts towards your anxiety or yourself if you find that helpful. But basically just bringing yourself into stillness, bringing yourself into a state where you feel safe and calm and observing your feelings instead of being completely entwined with them can be really helpful. And another thing that I found helpful that's often suggested is to have a space so I have a little Buddha statue and a little Ganesha statue, which aren't even from the same religion. They're just meaningful to me. And these are both practices that have been helpful in me, for my personal journey, let's say. So if you have something that you love, like maybe it's a leaf from a tree in your yard or something else, you could always put that in front of you and face it as you're meditating and it doesn't need to be a, a religious thing it can help sometimes just for concentration and mindfulness and intention to kind of create that space where you're going to meditate essentially or you could light a candle and have the candle lit in front of you it can just be helpful for creating that atmosphere that really helps you settle so Anyway, thank you very much for practicing with me and I hope that this is helpful. Please feel free to share any questions or comments or personal experiences or anything else that you'd like to share in the comments below because I'm always very happy to connect with you and for you guys to connect with each other is also really nice. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can always subscribe. If you like this video, you can let me know by pushing like. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know what they are as well in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.